So we had already covered till question number 50. Now we will start from 51 till 60, then uh, till 70 regarding multiple data source such as relational database, dynamically generated query. Then we will see graph based data structure. Then we will see these uh, handle complex data transformation, parallel processing, uh, distance or phonetic algorithm. Then we will see uh, the link you advanced link you ml query and uh, at the end we will see parallel processing so uh, uh, at the end we will see uh, this one as parallel uh, let's just start from 51 we had already finished till 50 till here we had already finished now start from 50. So, 51 is implement custom link provider uh, refer 51 folder. So, this is uh, how to implement custom link provider. So, for that we need to declare a class we need to inherit from the interface iQuery provider and we need to implement create query. Uh, which will return custom queryable and create query uh, these two uh, we need to override method i k equal and then we have execute method which will t result and a simple execute then translate and we have uh, this custom query which we are doing nothing just uh, you know element type type of that provider expression and i query this these code you can just see and execute method execute the query these are comment through the comment also you can see uh, implement translation logic over here yeah, i had just uh, the implementation of translation uh, translation logic is too long so uh, you can do that by yourself so over here the translation logic is little long uh, for reference what you need to do you can do through this text file so query translation first then query optimization then paging and limit re uh, result then transaction and concurrency then handle uh, error handling and exception propagation then provider a specific feature then unit testing and integration testing. So these are the steps to uh, build a link you uh, query provider. So I uh, hope by using this uh, algorithm, you can uh, do that in a query translation, implement a comprehensive query translation mechanism machine that can handle various link you operator expression transformation this include handling filter that is where projection that is select aggregation that is group by sum count etc in sorting join and more each operator need to be translated into a corresponding query syntax of targeted uh, data source or a query language by using this to uh, this is just a starting this is not a complete uh, example this is just a, you know, a base for you. You can develop uh, your query provider, custom query provider on the top of this by referring this. So let's move to the question number 52. Uh, question number 52, we have, uh, we have optimization concept. So optimize the linky query that involve complex when and aggregation. So the complex join and aggregation, we have a start date time and end date time. Uh, we are referring to our database, TV link you. And then total quantity, we are fetching from the order uh, item, order item and order date should be greater than this, uh, you know, uh, it's a uh, where condition. So it should be greater than a start date and end uh, this. This is a filter, we are filtering our data and then we are applying group by with the product key and then we are supplying 
uh, then we are selecting only a uh, product id and total quantity total quantity of that product id that is group dot sum so group by providing us a key and some so group by dot key and group by dot item so key is uh, basically group by dot key is product id and it will sum the item dot quantity so these two uh, we have in a group by group by dot key group by dot item in item you have a list of your uh, uh, properties of that uh, database let's uh, comment this uh, if you want to see if you want to see uh, let's write some something which will hold here like line So let's put a breakpoint over here and compare this. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, if you see the total quantity that is count is six, uh, you have uh, this product ID is total quantity 12. Uh, this is and product ID 2 total quantity 33, 57, 4, 16, 5, 12, 7, 7, 9. If you see in a database, if you see in a database, we have a uh, order and order item which is holding a record of the order and order item. In order item, we have a uh, lots of record for uh, that the particular order. So let's see uh, on uh, SQL also order item. Let's select this. So you have uh, these. We have these record. So uh, product ID equal to the product ID one. And this is two. One, yeah, ten, twelve, and then we do not have product ID one. So uh, if you go here. You see, product ID 1 have a total quantity 12. Hope it is clear for you. Uh, now let's move to the next question. Let's comment this. Let's go to the 53. And this is, this question is basically regarding pagination so how to implement link query that handle paging and sorting efficiently uh, for a large data set so uh, number of item per page so for a large data set generally we use pagination because uh, to fetching a all record from a data it leads to uh, performance uh, you know it's drop your performance so what we do basically we decide a uh, page size how many record we are going to display on per page and we are we will fetch page wise so which page the user is then we are going to fetch that page only the number of sort by the sort by that is property name which property we are going to sort sort direction is ascending so ascending uh, sort ascending to or what so now here this one is performing a uh, lot of this uh, so as variable variable db dot order so uh, db orders we are uh, doing query as a queryable now uh, uh, if it is sort by uh, not apply sorting is not null so uh, this is holding what property name so property type of order get property name so get property name of that and property not equal to null if there is a property then it's ascending sort by get value x if it is not null and then applying we uh, apply the skip and take method and then we uh, our result is over there so uh, let's put a breakpoint uh, breakpoint on here so it will jump below so let's have a let's have a something something 
So we have uh, already uh, seen our table uh, structure that is uh, order uh, order item and order. Now see uh, this, uh, you have a result that is count is this. Now you have this, see, customer ID 0, order ID 1, order date this, order item. You have order item that is counting result. You, if you see this order item is you have. So you have uh, order as well as all the nine order and uh, you have all the uh, order item for that order by ascending or descending whatever uh, this property you have. So you can go through uh, and exercise this and you will get a uh, little more clear. So let's comment this area. Let's comment this area. And let's move to the next question. Question number 14. So question number 14 is straightforward to implement a query that perform full text search on textual data. <laughs> so basically uh, for searching a text, we use content. Content. Uh, so order item, this is search item, search query. Whatever the search query you have, you can put over here like a product name or product starting with what. So if it is containing that uh, item, it will return the, the, that one. So entity such that entity dot order item dot name contain. So this, this keyword is basically used for searching a text in a field. So let's comment this and uh, go further ahead. Now question number 55, we have uh, implement link you uh, that calculate rolling sum or uh, moving average over time based sequence. So let's have uh, again some something which will break our sequence. So over here what we are doing order by item order id dot to list now we are uh, doing a rolling sum of the quantity. So perform some calculation we are uh, shifting uh, we are making a window size size of the rolling window is 3 size of the rolling window is 3 then order sequence by time based property. So, so let's see uh, in a result method like the sequence into memory So, if you see in a rolling sum, you have 22 uh, this. So, first item is order ID 1, order item 1, quantity 2. If you see uh, second, then uh, quantity is 4, 2 plus and whatever uh, that uh, we have. If you see in <coughs> 2 plus 4, 6, then next one is 2, that is 6. 2 plus 4 6 and plus 2 is uh, 8. So the next one should be 8 over here. So next one C some 8 then C some this one 8 again. So it's a rolling sum uh, and then you have 9. So if you go to uh, this then 4 2 2 then uh, the, the, from this 4 to 5 like that billing wise order id wise and then uh, order id wise and then the rolling sum uh, with the window size 3. Let's comment this and move to the next question. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, next question. Uh, this is regarding. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, it's cold. Uh, how do you implement a link query uh, that perform a statical analysis? A statical analysis such that the calculating variance or the standard deviation. So you know the formula of a standard deviation. We are counting the sequence and then the average and then we are doing a power of that and then a square root of variance. So variance is what? Sum of the, uh, the square divided by how many you have how much you have that is count. So uh, this will give you a result. So if you uh, go to 
here let's have another uh, breakpoint or break point let's see order item we are uh, doing a standard deviation so a standard deviation on quantity on quantity so see the standard deviation of quantity is 4.5.1 and the variance is 20.36 uh, so the, how to you know, find a standard deviation and variance uh, it's basically uh, you need to know a formula so what is the formula of variance and what is the formula of standard deviation we are simply uh, converting that formula equally q by using select this item then sum of a square then selecting the power of value whatever the value minus mean mean is uh, average of sequence whatever sequence we have in item that average of that is uh, mean and that uh, mean value minus this value such that value minus mean and we are making a square of that and then we are doing sum of that. So this is just a step for what uh, defining uh, standard uh, defining a standard deviation and variance to find to find a standard deviation and variance on numeric field. Now move to the question number 57. So on 57 we have a question is how do we implement link query that handle real time streaming? Real time streaming data and update result dynamically. So real time data stream we have this. Let's see uh, what is this, the definition of this. So it's I observable and returning i observable integer we have this function defined over here so this function is doing what observable dot interval and from second one select value integer it's returning and take 10 simulate 10 data points it's uh, basically simulating our 10 data points so let's uh, move for uh, this is uh, this function is basically we are doing for uh, simulating a real time data stream so we are getting a data for 10 data and now inquiry processing so this data stream dot where the value is greater than zero filter based on the condition then transform value whatever the value we had filter we are transforming that then we are performing sliding window we are buffering that sliding window operation then again we are selecting the average calculating average of each window and discontinue until change emit distinct distinct value only and then subscribe to the query to receive update result so in a subscription query dot subscribe we we are doing what result such that console and we are printing the result let's see into a example so what we are getting so see a streaming data data press any key to start so it's a streaming like 4 6 8 10 12 because it's uh, skipping we are taking only uh, you know buffering uh, sliding window we have so 17 18 and and assuming data press any key to stop so it will update uh, like that and press e we stop your record so that is live uh, runtime data update functionality by using this is not uh, you, you mean uh, i mean uh, this is just a base example you will have a data stream as a real data whatever the data is coming so we are uh, i am just uh, trying to simulate your uh, real time data streaming you can have you you will have certainly in real life uh, you will have a video uh, processing and these are so you can but the base uh, but the logic uh, is this you can uh, use this logic by for this uh, you can perform your operation let's move to the question number 58 so uh, let's comment this now we have uh, how do you implement link query and integer with the no sql database so uh, for this you need to mongo client you need to uh, you need to you know uh, you need to uh, install mongodb uh, mongodb this one driver and driver link your these three using you have to do 
and then uh, then you know Pongo DB connection is string then get database collection and after that we have as panda so you can have this now on question number 59 how to how do you implement link uh, link the query that utilize custom expression trees or dynamic so for this what we have this uh, is uh, for this we have a person class again and then uh, we are building a dynamic query which is getting expression function func type a person and boolean build a dynamic query so okay, let's see the definition of the build dynamic query we have this basically inside of the dynamic query what we are doing we are doing parameter expression if you see the definition of this parameter expression so this is a expression type in a expression class we, uh, we are uh, inheriting from expression and this have a function that is type of and dynamically involved so uh, we are uh, basically overriding that uh, we are creating a parameter and passing a type of person with a p uh, and is priority expression again these are all our expression to building a dynamic class so uh, uh, we are uh, Overriding lambda and uh, uh, and also expression, we are using the function of and expression uh, expression and also uh, greater than or equal to less than or equal to this kind of uh, thing. So let's move to the uh, over here. If the dynamic query is null, then we have uh, this not null. Then we are building our dynamic query. And we are filtering the person record and printing a record on it. Yeah, let's see in another So if you see here, ID 1, name Ellis is 30, uh, uh, ID 3, Charlie is 35. So let's go there. So Bob, 25 why uh, not 25 coming because the minimum is uh, defined as a 28 and maximum is 35 so our query is built uh, according to these two condition we are building dynamic query and we have a result this one see this 25 is is not uh, coming we are not uh, mentioning anywhere over here we are building uh, dynamic query according to the condition by using this by build dynamic query uh, method and in this we are doing nothing we are just uh, declaring up uh, this expression type and then we are using greater than equal to overloading this uh, then we are uh, using uh, greater than equal to less than equal to if it is uh, matching then returning that otherwise we return null then uh, final expression whatever the final expression we have we are getting minimum age and maximum age. So, uh, this is uh, your building a dynamic value. Now, let's move to the next part. Let's comment this. So, uh, utilize custom expression tree and uh, building a dynamic through the dynamic. Now, uh, move to the question number 60. Uh, so, for this, you need a new get package uh, leucense.net. <laughs> Uh, implement implement link query that perform advanced text processing operations as that are tokenized or streaming the quick brown box this is the, the just original text is this the stream and distinct token with the token we are writing this let's see let's see the result Well, you cannot be null, so uh, we have, uh, yeah. So, steam token into text is this, tokenize in steam, go to this function. Uh, over here, what we are doing, okay, okay, okay. Because of uh, this, uh, if you see in my, uh, I'm using, uh, you know, I'm using C sharp below 8 because of this uh, dot net uh, it is not uh, it is not getting uh, entire uh, section of leucense 
in your uh, in your uh, when you run this query, if you uncomment this, you will have snowball inside of your sense. If I, if I will use core dot make core, then it won't uh, throw an error. It will have everything over there. So that's why it's written in that. So uh, let's move to the next section. Thank you.